Today, I'm gonna learn how to stamp. There's no better way to learn than to have a pro teach a beginner. Greg, what's in store for me today? <laughs> <laughs> it's no. gonna be tough? No, this is easy. This is... Because no. I'm a good student. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull and then go. Boom, boom, boom. Dab. Just dab it. It's like a schmear, dude. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Pull firm, pick it up. Yeah, don't leave me hanging, bro. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right going across, there's that line right there. So why don't we just try it? Yeah. Can we try it? Oh yeah. Okay. Don't hold the stamper in one hand and then go like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, look at that. with my presence. <laughs> <laughs> Stamping nail polish can be a frustrating process. I know I was playing with a little bit. <laughs> I wasn't cheating on you, bro. I was like, I was trying to, you know, get a little practice in before we started. Can't help myself. Okay. Um, and Stamping can be frustrating because picking it up, transferring it, there's timing, yeah. there's pressure, um, there's the product and all that you know, I, I see you do it and it's like boom, 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 and you do it, you know? And then sometimes when I try it, it's it's hit or miss. I'm not doing it as often as you guys, obviously, but still, like, um, I feel like it shouldn't be like that hard compared to like the acrylics and gels I've done, e-filing. I almost look at this and I'm like, this is gonna be easy. I mean, how hard can it be? How hard can it be? But I know that's not the case. So what are some of the things I need to, what are some of the key things I need to be aware of before we start? Nice nails, by the way. Oh yeah, I, I pre-painted them so that I gave you a canvas ready to stamp. Those look buttes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a reflex now, bro. <laughs> so the, the key yeah. is timing. Okay. Um, you have to be able to apply um, a hefty amount, not a hefty, you have to be able to apply a nice even amount on the plate. Okay. Uh, you have to know how to swipe. Right. Right, at the right angle. You can't like flatten out the card and smush the polish all sure, over the place. Sure, sure, so you have to have a good angle. Correct. Right, even pressure. But it literally has to be one, two. So it's not like, it's not like swipe, 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 two. <laughs> Three. Right. It's swipe, press, and then line it up and go. Right. Okay, now here's the thing. I mean, I've told this to a ton of people. Yeah. But really the trick is keeping this thing sticky. Okay. So that you can pick the polish up perfect every single time. Okay. Okay, so, so you're talking about outside of just cleaning it with with yeah. the, the, the roller. Yeah, because you're gonna use a lint roller to clean to remove it off to remove this off right but the lint roller is not going to kind of reactivate the stickiness of this right um, i've learned over time that what will make the silicone sticky so we have the into you um this right here that on to the next <laughs> on to the next the into you <laughs> we have the on to the next uh polish remover and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the on to the next polish remover and I'm just going to just go over it like this. Okay. And just literally, that's it. I'm not okay. gonna touch it, and that's gonna clean it, and it's gonna kind of reactivate the stickiness that you need to pick up every detail to make the perfect impression. Okay, question. So after I clean it with this, mm -hmm. what you're saying is do uh, like a little acetone dab. Just dab it. It'll activate it and, Correct. and give it some more stickiness. Okay, Correct. so why don't we just try it? Yeah. Can we try it? Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, let's go with this guy right here. There's, can I? Le yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Well, I'm looking at that skull and I know that one is hard. Everyone has always had a problem with this skull because yeah. it's so tiny. Yeah, it's so but thin, right? I'm not joking. If you prep the stamper the right way yeah. and your timing is good, so I'm not, don't rush it. Just yeah. pull it press it, and then line it up and go. Okay, you wanna okay. do that one first? Yeah, sure. 
So, okay, hardest one first. Hardest one first. All right, let's do it. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Another question. Yes. Would you recommend, I've seen you do this, separate hands, boom, boom. Yes. Okay. okay that, okay. That's huge. So what he was basically saying is don't hold the stamper in one hand and then go like this and then like this. Like have it in two separate hands. So you're going to pull and then go. Another thing that I've noticed, this is just from my own mistakes in the past, is when I swipe, if I see like a schmear, I know it's not gonna be good. Like I basically wanna remove it and go, because like if it's like that blurry schmear, that means I didn't press it evenly across. Well, like, it also, so if you're looking at the side right here, it, it means that when you swiped, you basically swiped like yeah, this. Right, instead, instead of, of using the edge. Right. Don't swipe it so that it becomes flat. Swipe it so that the edge pulls it. Got it, okay. okay. So let's get to it, let's buddy. Do, let's do it, man. Do this. And... Just put a nice, healthy amount, yeah. There. Ready? Oh, yeah. Yep, see, I can see. It's like Just, blurry. It, it, so, I don't know if you guys can see that that's really good. You see how it looks Wait. right there? See, it's like blurry. It just, he didn't... It's like a schmear, dude. Yeah, you just didn't pull it firm enough. Yeah. So I know if I get that, I know it's not going to come out right. Well, you're going right. to you're gonna transfer all of that onto the nail. Right. So it's going to be a blurry, it's going to be a blurry transfer. Yeah, so what I want to show you something too. Just get a nice, healthy amount and pull it firm. Okay. There you go. There you go. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, yeah. So let's let's just show that. Right uh, here. I, <laughs> I'm like, let me show how proud I am of my stamp. Yeah, don't leave me hanging, bro. <laughs> Dude, no. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> That's sick. It is. It's okay, per it's perfect. Okay, so you need to clean this. Okay. Ooh, this is exciting, dude. It because is. because I've, it's because it's easy. Yeah. That was not hard, shockingly. Like, especially this one, which is the hardest one. And, and, and you know, it's funny too, because you and I have spent time doing this. And um, in the be I almost, before we started, I wanted him just to go at it. And he, there was like this. It was hard. It, yeah, he was almost this level of frustration where he was literally going ballistic. He's like, I can't get this. And I'm like, okay, this is <laughs> no, what I you- I wasn't going that This far. is what- <laughs> So just get that little bit of dab on there. Yeah, just again, and then, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so I got that, now what's next? I mean, one of the things, that, you know, the, having clear stampers, you guys probably have a load of them. If you have a load of them, um, reactivating that silicone to get it really sticky is a matter of just taking acetone and just lightly grazing over the surface to clean it. So what about, like one of these, right? Well, this design right here hard. is like, if you can, I'm gonna bring this up really close. Okay, so that is really fine really lines. Um, a lot of ink dries really fast. Um, I want Habib to be able to do that as well. So again, load it up and pull firm. Yeah. Pull firm. So, oh, there you go. Pull firm. Pick it up and you're going to notice how perfect it is and then you're going to be able to apply it and do it. <laughs> oh my God, look at that, dude. Okay, right, so let's show everybody that. Yes, I'm sure you can see the right there. Every perfect detail is on the nail. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a challenge. Okay. Um, I mean, dude, do uh, do this one right here. That one right there. Yeah, like this one right here in the middle. Okay. There's a lot of fine lines in there. Ah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
crazy, bro. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's a relief. Yeah, it is a re like I feel like I just like ran and worked out, bro, and I'm like, ah, oh, dude, I feel so good. Like, and look, the, the I've literally the caption polish that I have on here. You would think that you need a sticky surface. Like you could stamp this onto a non-tack surface. You could stamp this onto gel. Um, it, again, a gel that's wiped, gel polish that's wiped, or a tack-free gel. Um, it's absolutely perfect. But I'm gonna show you something. Dude, white. I'm gonna, let's show people how yeah. incredible our white is. Look, okay, this design here. So you see this design right here where you have these flowers right here, right? So earlier when you were picking these up, your prints were like jaggedy and they weren't when, full. Yeah, when I was practicing earlier, it was hard. I remember because hard. before I came up, you were like, I cannot I get, get this. this. Yeah. I can't get this print to transfer. What is going on? Yeah. yeah, it was hard. So I'm like, well, how are you cleaning your yeah, stamper? Yeah. So like... I was trying to do it initially by myself, and um, and then once like Greg kind of you notice that he's cleaning this oh, yeah, as you well. Gotta clean that as well. Yeah. So make sure your edges are clean. So let's show people the white. Yeah, this is good because you could literally you guys are gonna love this because he's gonna place that center right in the center of yeah. my finger. And you can go firm just to yeah. fill it in. Oh yeah, you can tell, huh? Um, no, it didn't. It didn't go good. Let, let me, me do it again. Yeah, sure. Let me it, it, well, it's it's not bad. I know it's not bad. No, it's pretty good. Like actually, I, yeah, let me let me let yeah. me just show you. Like you can see, see how it picked up. That's actually not bad. But You're I'm so, I'm so used to it now being perfect that and and I probably should have just stamped it, but um, yeah, it's it exactly. okay. Clean it. Yeah, let me just clean it. Clean it. it. I mean, again, at the end of the day, if you're looking through, if you're looking through here, and you notice that it's not perfect, wipe it, clean it, um, and get ready. Again, it doesn't take a long time. He's gonna clean off all the residue off the plate. And then again, a little bit of acetone. That. Clean this. Just to lightly go over the surface yeah. to make it nice and clean. Yeah. Good. That way it makes it activates it, it makes it sticky. Okay. Alright. And this is clean. So yep. good there. And then just fill it in. You don't have to go ballistic. Just a nice firm pull. Yeah. And then just that timing issue. Remember we talked about one, two. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Hold it in place. Yeah. I mean, bro. Yeah. That is like. Yeah. That yeah. is so. Yeah. Look at that. Perfect. It just doesn't get. Look at that right look at that there. Right there. Just does not get better than that. It's super sharp and super super clean. Like, and even the one I did before, Greg, it was like it was still okay, but there was just a couple edges missing. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. But here's the thing that I love is like you can look, like you don't have to stamp. You can look and go, oh, let me do it again, and then you just correct it real well, quick. Do you notice also as well because he's able to pick it up perfect that he can actually take his time and line, line it, it up. up and get it perfect. Yeah. So like, I have a pinky here, and it's like, let's try to find a, a stamp that has some like crazy detail. Okay, so you see these little, these little like daisies right there? Those little mini school ones? Oh, you know what? Which ones? You see that little rosebud right there? Okay, Put try to Try there? to get that rosebud right there. Right to fill my nail. Okay, with gold or yeah, with... so if you guys can see right there, that rosebud my, right above my pinky. I don't really like that design. Okay, you know what why? Do you, what do you want? <laughs> um, I, I want to go with one of these. Sure. Can I do like, oh, yeah, with, yeah, yeah. like that little flower? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Just because it, it looks a little more detail like this. There's some. I don't know. I don't like it. Fill it with silver too. Silver dries super fast. Okay. Where is my card? Did you clean this with acetone? I did. I did. All right. All right. So just fill it. Here, right? Yeah. Just again, load it up. 
right? And then, yep. Then. Oh no! See, I can see that streak. Okay. That's gonna. I can probably pick that one up. That's oh, okay. I should have done that. No, it's That's all. Okay. It's all good. But I can. I can see it now. It's like. So in if my pull wasn't good. You, you know, get, he I has streaked it. You see the lines that he has right there. You, you can see that right going across. There's that line right there. I just, you know. One of the things you could do as well is you could load it up. I'll just show you guys really fast. You don't have to load it up there. You can load it up here mm -hmm. on this side. And then do it. Yeah, and then just pull it this way. I mean, yeah, I, dude. Uh, it's uh, crazy, uh, dude. It's like you can get the level. I'm trying to get my hand in here. Here, here. Right there. There you go. I mean. Right there. Yeah. The level of detail, it's perfect. Um, you are now a master stamper. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. You're wow. going to have a ton of success. You did a great job. Thanks, bro. Um, if you guys follow these steps, I promise you, you're going to have a ton of success stamping. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed um, this episode. This for me was, um, I thought it was gonna be really, really easy, but when I was practicing, I found that it wasn't. I'm sure a lot of you beginners have come across similar challenges. Um, Greg showed me exactly what to do, and I can tell you right now, I feel like a stamping machine. So um, I hope this helped. We'll see you next time on Pro Teachers Beginner. Oh! Uh... No.